Asturias has had a long and often difficult relationship with the gold mining industry. The whole region is full of remains, but if you really want to know the true history of gold in the region, you must come here to Allende and Tineo. It's here where the Romans started to exploit that precious metal in an industrial fashion, and doing so, they changed the life of the local communities forever. Gold mining still continues in Asturias to this day and is an important contributor to the local economy. But when the first Romans arrived here, they were very much aware that there was plenty gold and silver in Asturias due to the fact that the locals were exporting the precious metals in the form of rings and trinkets. The local system of extraction was still a rudimentary affair and it would not satisfy the high demand for gold back home in Rome. The Roman society used the metal to mint their currency as well as provide beautiful jewelry for the wealthy. This demand led to great developments in gold extraction as the Romans set about to building water aqueducts in order to remove vast quantities of earth and access the gold. Aqueducts like this were built to move large quantities of water to clean big amounts of earth and stones and access to the gold. The success of this method creates another problem, how to transfer all that gold back to Rome. The Romans set about forcibly recruiting the local Astures to build a vast network of roads to accommodate the transport of their highly valued gold. Before being transported, the gold was cleverly stored in the remaining hilltops forts of the Celts and Astures called Castros. As you travel across Asturias today, you will find well-preserved examples of these roads and forts in many areas of the region. The Romans also made good use of the many rivers in order to deliver large quantities of gold to the seaports, where it was transported back to the demanding markets of Rome. These seaports became integral to the commerce and transportation of the gold and many traces of Roman architecture can be still seen through the cities and coastal ports like Gijón and Castropol. The Romans left an indelible mark in the whole of Spain. But here in Asturias, it was more than a campaign of conquer. It was industry, transport and engineering. Asturias offers a great opportunity to see this firsthand in the well-preserved historic artefacts in the museums of Oviedo and Navelgas. There are also many marked walking routes available for you to walk in the footsteps of those first Romans and see for yourself the impact they had here. Even now, people still pump for gold on some of the rivers, hoping for a lucky find, and sometimes they do get lucky. You can rent panning equipment in Navelgas, and it's a great day out for all the family. The Romans managed to extract a lot of the precious metal out of Asturias, but the real gold still remains in the landscapes and the culture.